yo what is going on guys is your boy zard here and today there's a huge update on the doctor disrespect situation like an absolutely fucking massive one um you guys can also go watch my video i made i think it's my most recent upload before this one um basically goes more into depth on everything that happened before this but i can also give you a quick summary on everything real quick if you guys don't want to go and do that i totally understand um but before we get into everything make sure you guys leave a like subscribe comment share do all that good shit or you're gay and if you are gay do it or you're straight um so let's get into the the, the nitty gritty uh basically this all started with on friday i believe yeah friday it started on friday a random twitch employee came out and said that he knows why dr disrespect got banned and if you guys don't know in 2020 about four years ago now dr disrespect was randomly banned on twitch and it was the biggest mystery for the longest time nobody knew why dr disrespect got banned nobody knew um which employee came out and he said i know he got banned for having inappropriate conversations with minors over the twitch whisper system and plan to meet up with one of them which is just a crazy accusation and then dr disrespect came out and responded to all this with some really dodgy responses like just like complete like just saying like there's no wrongdoing done it's been settled in court blah 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 uh just basically completely dodging the accusation so me personally a lot of other people thought you know this motherfucker did it he did it no way he's being this dodgy but there's also a side of people that thought maybe he did do it and you know guess who's right like always zard fucking gaming because i'm a fucking genius and this is why you guys need to fucking subscribe to me because i'm the smartest youtuber on the fucking planet subscribe now because i'm a fucking genius subscribe if you like geniuses all right but let's get back on track um Basically, now, the other day, his company, I forgot what it's called. Um, it's not his company. It's a, oh yeah, Midnight Society. It's a company that he's worked for, sponsored by, all that good shit. Kind of like Luminosity back in the game, back in the day. Not necessarily an esports team, but more like a gaming org that contracts streamers. At least that's my understanding. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Uh, go ahead. Feel free to correct me if I am um but he came they came out with a statement saying that he they terminated dr disrespect which set off a lot more sus alarms that the people think he actually did it because they said that they had more information and by the way i would like after doing some research there was signs of this long before the twitch employee came out because there's like old podcasts from like months before this happened years before it happened referencing that that might have been what happened but now it just kind of been confirmed and then after all the pressure dr disrespect finally came out and tweeted out a full response basically admitting that he did do it which is just absolutely crazy um let's get into reading it now if you i'm i'm a little retarded guys i won't lie i am a little retarded so um i might read this a little stupidly because i'm not the greatest reader so if you guys want to pause the video and read through this feel free to do so all right he says on the twitch ban hello i'd like to make a quick statement <laughs> yeah quick yeah you just fuck there ain't nothing quick about this statement motherfucker like it's like that one meme i have no words words okay let's uh, let's let's stop yapping and get into it let's cut to the fucking bullshit as you know there's no filter of me i've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that i can be upfront about and i'm always willing to accept responsibility which is why i'm here now first and foremost i do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me my team and everyone at midnight society game studio a lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with midnight society and i and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have a high career ambitions and families and i'd like to never want to jeopardize the culture that we have carefully crafted so he makes it sound more like i stepped down like it was a mutual decision that this is best for the company when they when midnight society tweeted out they definitely made it they said terminated they made it look like dr disrespect didn't have a choice which is probably just damage control on his part but let's keep going Everybody has been waiting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that the four, two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whispers with a... Were they <laughs> were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? By the way, 
the when he said minor here for a few hours after he edited the tweet and fucking got rid of where he said minor and then he went back again after he got a bunch of shit and put minor back in it um he said the answer is yes he was messaging a minor in 2017 were there real intentions behind these messages absolutely not these were casual mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate okay bro that is just the most like average okay I've seen a lot of episodes of, well, you know, Skeeter, Gene, Chris Hansen, and I do Predator Catches myself. You guys could go watch those, by the way. They're all on my channel. And this is the most basic Predator response ever. I didn't intend on doing anything. I don't know what I was doing. I just got carried away. I didn't intend on actually doing anything. Like, shut the fuck up. We know what you're planning on doing. Obviously, we don't know the situation entirely. It, it could have been her got uncomfortable, the minor, and stopped talking to him. Or it could have been him, you know, getting some, like, absolutely foul post-nut clarity and be like, yeah, no, I'm done with this. And he says, uh, fuck. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I've never seen or even met the individual that went through a lengthy arbitration which is basically a court hearing regarding a civil dispute with twitch and that case was resolved by settlement let me be clear it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me so this is a big thing that a lot of people are divided on um i'm definitely on the side of this is fucking gross you're sexting a minor that's weird um you need to get a life you're a loser um but a lot of people are saying you know there was no crime he didn't send any dick pics he didn't receive any cp so no harm no foul I think you're a damn retard. You're an idiot because he's still sexting a minor and that's fucking weird. Okay? Maybe what he did wasn't necessarily legal, but it's still fucking weird. Okay? And you defending him is weird. You know, if you still want to watch his content, that's fine. I get it. Like, there's tons of people in Hollywood that are totally into kids and you still watch their fucking TV shows and movies. So I don't see how you should, could treat it any differently for a YouTuber. But don't sit there and try and defend the dude's character. It was fucking weird. It was fucking weird and nasty and you shouldn't be defending that shit. It's weird. Okay, back to the statement. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll be I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. He's got kids, bro. Like, I don't know, but like whenever I hear pedophile stories or I catch a pedophile and they have kids, like that just weirds me out. Like, like that just ugh. It's just it's weird. I don't even I don't even think I have to go into details on why that's even more weird than just a normal predator. It should have never been. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect. And I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all this said, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is the is a destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator or PDF file. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly fucking knows me that where I stand on those things with those types of people, fuck that. That's an that's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Okay. Honestly, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you, Doctor Disrespect. I like you. I watch your content and I think you're a funny guy. But calling you a predator and pdf file isn't an inaccurate description okay it's not an exaggeration you were sexting a minor that's weird that's weird and that's some um, predator shit i'm not even gonna lie i mean it did happen seven years ago he 100 percent could have changed and got better got therapy all that shit um i don't know about you guys but i know that 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 shit is absolutely disgusting and i think people that are like go and touch kids are they need to die to be fair um but I also do think I'm also a very forgiving person. And I think people deserve second chances. And, you know, if he it was seven years ago, he 100 percent could have changed and got better in that time. But it doesn't mean that that it's not fucking weird and gross. You know, like it's still it's still fucking gross. You need to not act like you need to not be mad at people for calling you those things because they have every right to assume that you are those things. OK, don't be weird. Shit. It's a weird situation. And, you know, most of the time with this shit, I would say, like, a predator that's been caught in the YouTube scene should never come back to YouTube. Um, but the main reason I usually do say that is because they have a child audience. I would honestly go out to say that Dr. Disrespect has 
which is why I could lean towards this being a genuine mistake and he could have gotten better because he doesn't have a child audience. He's not going out of his way. He has a very adult audience, if anything. Most of his viewers are definitely older, but at the same time, it's still gross. I, I'm not defending it at all. And I think that there is a lot of, you'd be surprised how many people are actually defending this shit. It's fucking weird. It's weird the amount of people defending this, but that's why I lean towards that. He definitely has a very adult audience. Um, but you know, I can completely understand someone not watching him anymore. Back to reading. Where was I? Where was I? Okay. But I think I've said what I needed say to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why I made that's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said this sooner. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community and circle if any of this has made you uncomfortable i get it you don't have to support me anymore but just know that you always have been greatly appreciated but trust me when i say this to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero life experience i don't give a fuck about you finally if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think i'm a piece of shit that's fine but i'm not fucking going anywhere i'm not the same guy that made this mistake those years ago and i'm taking an extended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream and i'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders they want me to disappear yeah fucking right bro thinks he's an anime villain all right but yeah a lot of his friends in the community are like like not like even like his editors and stuff said i'm not gonna work with pdf files we're done like a lot of people have cut him off you know crispy concourse says i don't know bro someone says me looking at the tweet edits yeah because he edited it multiple times um Someone said, I got caught before I did anything illegal with a minor. Summed up for you. Yeah, that's, I mean, I guess that's a fair assumption. Obviously, we don't know the whole situation, but that is a fair assumption. Uh, let's see. EDP jokes, usual. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So many words just to say you were texting a minor inappropriately. Exactly. Um, You know, I stand, like, I've. if you guys know me, you know my channel. Unless, I very much stand by the idea of if you watch a, a YouTuber and they do some... I've had the same take on The Completionist. When a YouTuber does something really fucking shitty in real life, I mean... Me, personally, I, if I like them... I mean, I'm not necessarily a loyal Dr. Disrespect fan, so I'm probably not going to watch them. But I don't have any hate for someone that does keep watching them because, you know, like, like I said, it would be hypocritical because we watch TV filled with predators all the fucking time and we don't stop supporting that do we um but you know it is what it is and i get why nobody would want to watch that anymore i mean honestly and another conversation that's being big right now is should youtube ban him uh i'm honestly in the middle i think youtube should do what they want to do it's their website if they think he needs to be banned if they think he's a danger to children then he's yeah he should be banned but you know at the same time he has an adult audience so I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't want to say any. I don't really have an opinion on this topic of whether he should be banned or not, because I honestly don't have enough information right now. Um, it's a tricky situation. Um, it's really gross what he fucking did. And uh, by the way, there's a lot of people defending him. Uh, you know, if it, okay, that was the topic I was trying to say. There's a lot of people saying I'm going to keep watching him, and that's fine. You can keep watching him. That's if you enjoy his content, go ahead. You know. We, like I said, it'd be hypocritical to, to say otherwise because you watch TV with Predators in it all the time. But the people saying what he did was okay because nothing technically illegal happened. You're fucking weird and you probably are a PDF file yourself. Um, if you want to keep watching his content, do it. But don't fucking defend what he did. It's gross and weird. Maybe he is a changed man. We don't fucking know. It was seven years ago. But don't defend what he did. You're fucking gross if you do that. But yeah, that's basically my whole thoughts on the situation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, share. Like I said, I'm very middle of the road on this situation. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Should Dr. Disrespect be banned on YouTube? What do you guys think? And I'll see y'all in the next one.